night, good day, good night, good evening, depending on what time you happen to be watching this. Welcome to another episode of House of Stars. I'm your girl, Star. And today, as you can see, I'm doing my New Year's reading of what's to come for 2024. I want to thank you guys for getting your New Year's candles with me. I still want to get one. The 2555 each, which is a votive candle that is lit on your behalf. You just make three petitions that you want for the year. And that's what we do. Okay, so I just want to move into the reading. Um, of course, if you want to do your New Year's reading as well, you can always hit me up on my information handle. Okay. Okay, first things first, what I'm looking for this year, as you know, that this is a condensed year. 2024 condenses to number eight. So this year is going to be a really great financial year for people that get in alignment when it comes to money. Now, I know a lot of people are worried about what's going on in society right now, of course, because we have all these things happening with COVID and for the president, whether it be friggin' uh, Biden, whether it be friggin' Trudeau but for me or whatever, that is it's a hindrance. But at this point, what we have to understand is at the end of the day, what they need us doing and what they're going to always want us to do is making money. They don't need us financially dependent on them. So money is going to be a strong force this year. That's why you have to find your alignment astrologically. So I'm hearing for Spirit say that when it comes to what's going on in the stars, always make sure that anything you're doing, any manifestation, petitions, whatever you do, is always in alignment to where the stars are in that moment, all ties in. I'm also hearing that it's going to be four different constellations specifically, Throughout the year, because it comes, the big ones come every quarter. So when it comes to everything you're manifesting, always do it in clumps. Like, what do I want to manifest over this quarter? The next one, the next one, the next one. And once you start having that mindset of how you do things, it's going to be a stronger and more powerful house in 2024. I get the sense when it comes to COVID and stuff like that. I understand there's different viruses right now. Um, even myself, <laughs> I feel like. There's like, everyone's been going through this very strange flu, flu that's like causing us to be lethargic, tired. I think what's happening right now is like there's going to be things that are going to be let out in the air or be let out in spurts or whatever the case may be. But most of all, um, you should be able to maintain yourself. It feels like about around April, there could be something that comes out that's probably going to be a little bit more stronger, um, something to worry about. But at the same time, you're going to be able to rein in yourself and get that together but just keep up with all your um i heard fire energy it's like you need to sit in your fire energy so whether it be ginger turmeric cayenne pepper anything anything that has to do with heat is is is, is the element that you need to sit in because it feels like whatever is that this is going on it's, it's a combat against metal and what's the only thing that could combat metal is heat right so um is what I'm hearing. Um, I'm hearing also when it comes for celebrities, of course, I see that there's three major deaths that are going to happen in the Hollywood world. And if it's not close together, it could be all together, is what I'm hearing. But I get the number of three major ones that are going to happen this year. Um, I definitely feel, of course, there's going to be more scandals that are going to come out. But it feels to me like when it comes to these scandals, there's going to always be a certain kind of proof or something. There's something shifting in the reality of how we perceive things especially when it comes to Hollywood or when it comes to social media. It's like there's going to be a different style of how things roll out and how they're proven or whatever the case may be. Um, I'm also getting to, like, when it comes to spiritual people. Right now, it feels like we're in a very con over-condensed, over-saturated world when it comes to um, the spiritual aspect of doing things. So um, I'm just hearing, again, there is going to be something that's going to be put in the ether uh, something that's going to be put in the ether to kind of bring things down. Because what's happening right now, why things are not moving the way they're supposed to, because it's, it's very congested. Um, so there's going to be something that's going to be put in the air to kind of bring things down. Um, we already know that there were some natural disasters that happened already in Tokyo. There's going to be about three more again. It feels to me as, as I'm moving, everything's going to be moving in fours. Okay? So even though this is a figure eight year, um, cut it in half four. So it's like if things don't move in the motion of eight, uh, if things don't move in the motion of eight, it will move in the motion of four. Okay, it's like that's what I'm hearing. Um, it feels like anybody that has been manifesting anything for the past four years, I heard that the past four years, 
you're going to start to see more come into fruition this year for you, okay? Um, there's going to be a death in the royal family, too. I just heard that. Like, a royal family, something with royal family changes royal family. That's what I'm hearing as well. A lot of stuff happening on the west coast west coast west coast and the east coast so it's like from coast to coast there's always gonna be stuff going on from coast to coast so what spirit is showing me right now is from east to west anything that linears with east to west that's where there's gonna always be east to west we've been dealing with a lot of north to south stuff but now it feels like it's gonna be more east to west stuff that's what's gonna be happening I don't know why I heard this too. When it comes to people that live here in Canada, North America, there's gonna be changes when it comes to cars as well. So I don't know if that has to come with licensing or how you get your license, or if it comes to also the fleet of how cars are coming through or something. There's a lot of things that are gonna be. This year is a year that um, overall anything that has to do with a gun, <laughs> which it's funny how I mentioned the metal, I mentioned the cars. It's like this, this year I feel like it's gonna be very a gun, okay. Um, in so many ways that in a good year, like you obviously are able to overcome a lot of obstacles, but there's also a lot of more strength in the midst of that too. Hence why it makes perfect sense that leading into this year, where everything was going on, the gas, like I said, there's always bloodshed. You know what I mean? Like it cleans out and moves off into this year. Um, I don't know why I heard this too, because I when I started this reading, I said I'm going to do it with a gun, and I usually don't do my readings with a gun. Um, but it's like he's saying, I'm also hearing like also things that have to do with relationships, interpersonal relationships, um, because that's also the thing that was happening with social media as well. And what had to do with friends and people they were around and things like that, like moving forward in a new year. It's like I hear truth, truth and clearance happening. Cl uh, 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 enough with segregation, enough with enough with the segregation mentality. This year, people are going to move more into unity. Unity, uh, unity and understanding is what I'm hearing. It's like instead of staying in um, segregation, unity and understanding. A lot of clearance, a lot of um, that miscommunicative, like isolating energy is going to dissipate. So you're going to find that this year too, some people, especially if you've been more like antisocial, not really going out, or been finding that you haven't really been able to come out of that like COVID mentality of like being home. He's like, it's going to dissipate by June. Between now and June, this is clear now, clear now. Um, unity needs to happen. Unity is going to happen. That's, unity always brings back balance, is what I'm hearing. There's going to be also another strain of disease that's going to come out. I heard from the West Side. That's going to come up. It's going to sprout out a lot on the West Side. But more unity on the East. So that's it. So I do want to thank you for your time. Of course, if you want to get a psychic reading with me, you can always hit me up. All my information and my links are going to be in the description box. So you do want to thank you so much for your time. I rock my bean. May God bless you and the angels protect you. Good night.